Hey everyone, it's Hint Dash and Timmy and Cosmo. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really, really cool video. Uh, but first, I'm just gonna put Cosmo down because he's not trained for the camera like Timmy is. <laughs> yeah, basically, he cannot compete with Timmy. He just can't. <laughs> So today's video, I'm doing two looks in one because I received this massive box from Makeup Forever and I kind of didn't know what to title this video because, I mean, yeah, the focus is on the lips, but I also do some eye looks as well. So it's basically one model and two different looks. So kind of a more sultry look and then a more really intense look. That doesn't make sense. So one is more of like a nude lip version and one is a bold lip version. And I thought it would be really interesting to kind of go light on the lips and heavy on the eyes and then do one that's more simple on the eyes and more bold and heavy on the lips to contrast. I have to show you this box. I'll insert footage here somehow. And you guys have to head over to my Instagram. I saved the highlight of all the swatches. I swatched all 60 lipsticks of the Rouge Artists from Makeup Forever. They're amazing. There are so many different undertones and colors. So check out my swatches because I find them very helpful. When I was doing this video as well, I was going back to the swatches to see what color would suit the model because there are so many different undertones. I have to show you guys this PR box, which is crazy. It has my face on it. And of course, it's all brand new Rouge Artist lipsticks. And let me open it up. So this is what it looks like when it's opened up. My God, I mean, 60 lipsticks. The packaging is stunning. I have to, I have to show you. I'm gonna insert a clip. <laughs> and of course, I'm missing a few that I used on the model, but I mean, wow, that is a stunning PR box. And the thing lights up. There is like a plug at the back. Beautiful. And you can see kind of my entire setup here, so. All right, I'm not gonna blab on too much. So if you wanna see how I created these looks on Vivi, then please keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on my Instagram because that's where I post a lot of things before they come on YouTube. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. All right, so here we have the beautiful Vivi. And as you can see, we are gonna be doing a look with a nude lip. And then I'm gonna switch it up and do a different look with a more bolder, darker lip, which is perfect for fall. And October is right around the corner. So I'm gonna be starting off with skincare and her skin is already clean. I've done a bit of toner and then I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. And this is basically a hyaluronic acid serum. And I'm gonna be applying that all over the face and then massaging it in. And as you guys know, I always love to use a very light serum to kind of prep the skin and let it absorb whatever product that's gonna be coming after it. And after this, I'm just gonna be using a very light basic moisturizer. You can use whatever you want depending on your skin type. So just make sure that everything is sinking in very nicely onto the skin and it has settled. For lips, I'm gonna be taking the Ultra HD Lip Booster and this has a bit of a tint. I think it's in the color Cinema, I think. <laughs> it's like a really beautiful rosy glow and I'm just gonna be applying that on the lips so that they can be ready for lipstick later on. And after I'm done with skincare and moisturizer, I'm just gonna massage her face with this super extra step and just make sure she's nice and deep puffed and she feels really good and fresh. And we get that blood circulation going as well. And I kind of love doing this as like a super extra treat for my models because why not? And as I was doing this, I was getting so relaxed myself. I wish someone was doing this to my face. And then I'm gonna go ahead with a primer. This is the smoothing primer, which is a bit of a pore filling primer. And I'm just applying that on the T-zone, on the cheeks. So anywhere where you would get a bit of open pores and just to make sure that that area is nice and smooth. And then after she's nice and balanced, I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, which I have yet to use on my channel, but I have used it so many times. I love it. It's basically like a tinted moisturizer, but more. It definitely has coverage. It has a lot of skincare benefits to it, and it's just such a good everyday foundation tint hybrid. And I'm gonna be applying that with one of my favorite Makeup Forever brushes, and it is kind of fluffy and flat at the same time. It's perfect for foundation, for contouring, for cream blush, bronzer, any creams, this is perfect. And because this is a very fresh coverage foundation, I'm just really working it into the skin so that it's very skin-like. And again, not worrying too much about anything that's peeking through. We're going to cover that later. For cream contouring and bronzing, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation Palette. And this is one of my all-time favorites. I'm just going to be kind of shaping and bronzing the face at the same time. 
With my same foundation brush, I'm going over the cheekbones, the jawline, forehead, and the nose. So I'm not worried about going for that extreme contoured look. I'm just bringing back dimension and warmth to the face. Then for concealer, I'm taking the Ultra HD concealer and I'm going to be applying that underneath the eyes. And this is kind of really close to her skin color. I will go a bit brighter after, but I just want to unify that area and get rid of any slight darkness. And because I use a very lightweight foundation underneath, I can go a bit extra with the concealer if I want to. And I'm going to be blending everything in with a damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to be tapping that in and make sure that it sinks in really beautifully with the foundation. And as you can see, as I blend this out, it really does match her skin perfectly because it's that very yellowy caramel undertone, which is the same undertone as VV. And now I'm going to go in with a lighter concealer, and that's where I'm going to kind of be placing it as a highlight. So right in the inner corners around the nose and the chin. So anywhere where I kind of want to lift those areas and bring more light to them. And this is a really great trick to really add more dimension to the face. For cream blush, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Cream Blush Palette. And I'm going to be mixing a couple of shades, more of the peachy rosy tones together. And applying that on the apples of the cheeks and going pretty high up into the cheekbones as well. And with this, I really want to just tap it in. I don't want to blend it and buff it around because I don't want to disrupt anything that we've done underneath. And I want that nice diffuse concentration of color. And I'm taking it a bit all over the face just to make everything unified. And to set the entire face, I'm going to be taking the Ultra HD powder. This is the pressed one and it is the more yellow one. And I'm just going to be applying that with my brush because this powder is known to cause flashback. Any type of powder that's similar to this formula, uh, if you apply it to a set base. So basically, you really want to only apply this powder when your skin is kind of tacky with product so that the products aren't even set yet. That's when it works best. I'm going to be moving on to the eyes and I'm taking the Artist Color Pencils. These are my favorite. This is a beautiful burgundy tone that's going to match the lip that I'm going to do later. So I'm going to go ahead and create a wing with this and kind of create a color story on the eyes to reflect what's going to come next. <laughs> so with these two pencils, I kind of really want to just blend them together and create that diffused kind of gradient look on the eyes. So keeping everything very soft and blended, going back and forth with those colors to build the intensity and really winging it out. So kind of playing with that shape along her eyes. So I really want to create a shape that's going to be really blown out and winged out. And I'm going to be recreating a look that I did on my Instagram that never kind of made it to YouTube. So if you think this eye look is a bit similar to my Instagram, then this is the full tutorial for it, basically. And then on the lower lash line, I'm going to recreate that color story, but focusing it just on the outer corner, kind of creating a double liner look and blending it out. I'm also going to be taking that burgundy on the inner corner as well. With the nude liner, I'm going to clean up the kind of cut crease that I did on the lid and just blend and diffuse that out. Just to create more of a clean look and a base. I'm going to kind of set all of that with eyeshadows and I'm taking a burgundy shadow to match and just basically going over everything very lightly and diffusing it out. I'm going to take a bit of that brown to tone down any of the pink tones in the shadow as well. Just so that more of those rich burgundy tones come through. And with a more dense brush, I'm going to be setting everything and diffusing it with a nude to match her lids. I'm also going to be taking a dark copper and lining that on the top of the lash line just to add a bit more dimension and on the lower lash line as well. And taking a bit of concealer and a flat brush, I'm going to clean out that wing and to create kind of a separation between the two wings that I did on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to apply mascara on her lashes and I'm going to let her really get in there and work that mascara into her lashes as well. And I'm going to be repeating the same steps on the other eye. For blush, I'm going to be taking this camel colored blush and I really want something very toned down but still has that nice warmth to it. And that's what I'm going to be putting on the cheekbones and the cheeks. So I want it pretty high up to match the wing of the liner and the shadow work that we did. And then I'm going to go ahead and put whatever is left a bit on the forehead and the chin. I'm going to be contouring her nose very slightly and I'm just going to be doing that on the tip of the nose and across the tip and then on the lips. And with a shimmery champagne highlight, I'm going to be going on the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, 
a bit on the lips and on the eyelid as well to really make those eyes pop. And this was a bit of a last minute decision to put shimmer on the lids, but I thought, why not? Because you could always exclude it out if you feel like you don't want any shimmer on the lids. <laughs> And I'm taking that champagne on the lower lashes as well because I feel like it opens up her eyes even more. And I'm going to be contouring the socket of the lower lash line, if that makes sense, of the lower lid. I'm going to be taking a mix of two liners. And the first one that I'm going to be using is Total Taupe. And I've used this lip liner so many times and it really does kind of create a beautiful contour for a nude lipstick. So you can kind of cheat your way to so many different lip shapes. I've tried this so many times, I love it. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be going over her lip line very slightly and then kind of filling in the contours of the lips. And then taking that other nude pencil and just going and blending everything over it. All right, we are finally getting to lips and I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Lipstick in 1112 Chic Brick. And that is going to be the first color that I use. It's such a beautiful warm toned nude. And I'm going to be applying that all over the lips and over the lip liner that I've done as my full base color. And it has this beautiful lightweight texture that's still full of intensity. And it's such, such a good lipstick. And I love that you can kind of hold the lipstick like a lip brush, which gives me so much control. And then I'm going to be going over that with the Rouge Artist 104 Bold Cinnamon, which is a slightly lighter color. And I'm just going to be creating a very light ombre Nothing too crazy, nothing too dramatic. I just want more dimension to the lips. And again, this is still a warm toned nude, but just a bit lighter. So it has that nice caramel tone, which I love. And setting the face with the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air Setting Spray, which is one of my absolute favorite mattifying setting sprays. I love it. And doing a bit of a lip touch up. And this is the nude lip that's going with Look One, which I love so much. It's warm, it's very sculpted and shimmery and beautiful and brings out all her features in a very sharp way. I guess that's a key word to this look. It's very sharp, but then you have that combination and contrast of the soft, beautiful nude lip. For look two, we're definitely going more bolder and more intense with this really dark burgundy crimson lip. Yes. <laughs> And to do that, I'm going to be starting off with eyes, and this is the Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow, and this is a champagne color, so beautiful. And I'm going to be applying that basically all over the lids. I had an idea for this look, and I just decided to wing it and go for it. And what I want is shimmer basically all over the lids to really reflect the light, and in person, this really does shimmer like crazy. <laughs> and I'm going to be putting that on the inner corners and on the lower lash line as well and blending it out. And then I want to create a very dramatic liner. So I'm taking that from the lash line and winging it out and it's going to be pretty elongated as well. So it is a long liner. And because when Vivi opens her eyes, she doesn't have a lot of lid space showing through. I'm just going to really concentrate on winging that out so that when she moves to the sides and when she blinks down, you get that very, very dramatic liner moment. And I also wanted to keep it very kind of old Hollywood glam, very kind of vampy as well. And I'm doing the same trick where I put shadow on the center of the lid and contour underneath to kind of sculpt and lock everything in to really make her eyes pop. And then going over that with mascara. And then taking the first artist color pencil that I used, which is 718 Free Burgundy, and I'm going to be lining her lips. And take your time with this because I know doing a dark lip can be a bit intimidating and a bit scary, but you really do want to shape your lips and look in the mirror and take a step back to make sure everything is even because when you go darker on the lips, it is kind of less forgiving in terms of a lip shape. So as you can see, I kind of go back and forth and keep adding to it. <laughs> and the lipstick that I decided to use is the Rouge Artist 122 Magnetic Brown. And I really wanted to do a color that was very rich, very dark, but very kind of intense in color. And fall is here and I've been waiting to do a very dark lip. And this applies so beautifully. I really love the application of this lipstick because I can really get in there and get a very detailed and crisp application. And so, so easy. So I'm gonna be applying that all over the lip liner that I did and then really perfecting everything with a bit of concealer and a flat brush again. And whenever you do a very dark lip, you kind of want to go back after you're done and edit the look a tiny bit. So I'm adding a bit more blush just to really unify everything and look at the face as a whole and seeing what's missing. 
And I think this is such a classic look to do and such a beautiful look. It's timeless and it's very, very easy. Trust me, it's very easy to do. And it is a statement look. So you are gonna look and feel amazing when you create and wear this look. <laughs> I'm just gonna be touching up her lips and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed these two looks in one video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Which one is your favorite? I definitely love the darker one because it kind of reminds me of my older work. If you follow me on Instagram, when I kind of first started, this was my go-to super dark lips and liner and I love it. It is a classic. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye.